This is Sebastian Tomek. Welcome to an Ancient DNA paper review. Today we will have a look on the paper Ancient Genomes Show Social and Reproductive Behavior of Early Upper Paleolithic Foragers in Science. This paper is really interesting. The Copenhagen group has sequenced several related individuals from Sungi, Russia, dated to 34,000 years ago. This to investigate whether the contemporary hunter-gatherer strategy of a wider social network to prevent inbreeding was already present in the Upper Paleolithic. Sungir is a site harboring two of the most extraordinary Upper Paleolithic burial grounds. All remains were covered in ochre and were accompanied by rich grave goods including ivory beads and spears armbands and carvings, as well as arctic fox cannons. They investigated the degree of relatedness among the Sangir individuals with a method that allows relationship inference up to the third degree but does not rely on allele frequencies. Surprisingly, none of them were found to be closely related, that is third degree or closer. By looking at homozygosus by descent, it is possible to model the effective population size. They show that individuals at Sangir derive from a population of small effective size with limited kinship and levels of inbreeding similar to present-day hunter-gatherers population. The map shows the location of Sangir and how the Sangir individual relates to other ancient DNA sequences. Genetic clustering of ancient individuals using outgroup F3 statistics indicates shared genetic drift and tight clustering of the Sangur individuals which form a clade to the exclusion of all other individuals. Furthermore, they find genetic affinities between the Sangur individuals and those from Koskentki, both 12 and 14, as well as the Vestonitze cluster associated with Upper Paleolithic Gravettian culture. As a side note, the Villa Bruna cluster noted in the graph is what is usually referred to as Western hunter gatherers. They confirm a common Neanderthal admixture event shared by all Eurasians 55,000 years ago, and then additional further pulses of Neanderthal integration or selection against Neanderthal integration regions in anatomically modern humans. So the human hunter gathered a social structure of low level of within band relatedness, complex family residence patterns, relatively high individual mobility and multi-level social networks were already in place among upper Paleolithic societies 34,000 years ago. This social structure may have affected the development of cooperation and information transfer that underlie the evolution of culture in humans and may be crucial to understanding our species' unique evolutionary resilience and trajectory. That's all for today, my friends. Until next time, I wish you all the best.